Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to format a hard disk using Disk Utility. So, Disk Utility is the go to application for Mac experts to format hard disks. Let's go and take a look at how it works. Disk Utility is located inside your Utilities folder inside your Applications folder. When you run it, it immediately gets to work and looks for all the drives that are connected to your machine. You'll even see optical drives. In this case, I've got the Macintosh hard drive which is the internal drive for this iMac. I've also got a 250 gig external hard drive hooked up and on it is one volume. So a disk is a physical drive like this one. A volume is a space on that drive that shows up as a hard disk on your machine. Typically you would have one volume on a hard disk but you can actually partition it into two or more volumes on a hard disk. So here in Disk Utility if we wanted to reformat this drive we would select the drive not necessarily the volume. Then we can click Erase and on there we get some options. We usually want to choose the latest version of the Mac format which is Mac OS Extended Journaled. But we can also choose some older drives in case we need to hook this one up to older machines. We can also choose to do it as a Microsoft compatible drive which the Mac could read but also can be read by Windows machines. Once we've chosen that we can choose a name and then we can click Erase and this will reformat the drive and create a new volume on that drive replacing any old volumes that were there. One reason you may want to use Disk Utility to format a new drive that you get is a new drive may be formatted for Windows and you may want to reformat it specifically to use for Mac. You can use it either way but it will be more efficient if you actually formatted OS X Extended. So here we go. Now we've got this volume test on our external hard drive. We can also do some other things. For instance, if we wanted to create multiple volumes, we could partition the drive. So instead of a race, click Partition. And here it tells us there's one large partition and it's called Test. We could change this to be, say, two partitions. And we get to name each one of these and also change its size by changing the number in here or simply dragging the divider around. If we did that, we'd end up with two partitions and two volumes on that single drive. They would both show up whenever we connected this external drive to our Mac. Now, multiple partitions aren't always very useful, but you can use them for organizational purposes. You can also use them to create a single partition that holds scratch files. These are files used by video editing software and photo editing software that sometimes takes a lot of disk space, but it's not something you really ever have to back up because you can specify on Time Machine to only back up a certain volume and ignore another one. Also of course this is a very convenient way to erase an entire drive. You can drag everything to the trash and throw it away but it's still going to leave a lot of junk behind and it may take some time to empty the trash if you have a ton of files. Just simply reformatting the drive can only take seconds. This technique also works for the little tiny USB flash drives and I use it all the time to simply reformat them and start over using them for a new purpose. So I hope you found this look at Disk Utility useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.